Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today I'm actually going to be giving you a little tutorial on how the replay cinematic tool works in the game. This brand new and exciting tool was introduced yesterday with the latest update to Space Engineers. Although DLC was introduced with the update, you don't actually need to buy that in order to use a replay tool. It came free with the update. Great news for us cinematic creators, we love stuff like this. So as you know, I love creating cinematic things on my channel. I believe telling stories through Space Engineers cinematics is some of the best machinima content you can create currently. It really reminds me of the old Halo machinima days when you'd have your Spartan standing around, walking around doing things. You know the red versus blue days? Let me know if you get what I mean by that and if you're a fan of RVB as uh, I, I quite like it. Anyway, let's talk about the replay tool a little bit more. On screen now you can see an example of what you can create using that tool. There are very advanced things you can do with it and it is a very time consuming process. There are a few bugs currently with the replay tool as this was more of an internal tool meant for the developers rather than a public thing meant for us, the players and consumers. So you are going to find some little bugs and errors around it sometimes, but you've got to understand this was an internal tool which myself, Aaron and a few other content creators push for being released to the community. And I'm glad Marek and the rest of the developers decided to listen to us, as I think this tool in the hands of the community is going to be a great asset for making our Space Engineers creations look even more exciting. Okay, so you're probably wondering, Jack, how do I use the tool? It's pretty straightforward and simple. As you can see, we're currently in an SE world at a minute. Hello, here we go. Tabbing into my character mode, you see just a vanilla SE world. I'm in creative right now. I'd recommend using the tool in creative more. Uh, this world's currently in offline mode. But uh, you can set it in and have friends come in if you want, but I recommend doing it on yourself. It's uh, a little bit easier. Okay, so access the replay tool. Do Alt F10. Bang. It'll bring up the admin screen. Typically, it'll bring you to the admin tools screen. You just click the drop down menu and go to replay tool and bang. This is the replay tool here. You can see we can reload the world. I'll tell you what that does in a minute. Or we can add a character, remove a character, or change a skin. Well, first up, we need to add a character. We click that, and you can see, look, a new guy has popped in. Now, to swap to him, we just simply press F6. We are now in control of him, so here you go. I am in control of a new character, and there's me actually stood there. Now if we want to swap back to me, we just do Alt F10 and press F6 again. Now one thing to note with that is you have to be uh, like inhabiting or you know, in control of that character to switch to them. So I can't currently switch now, I'm in spectator mode, I can't switch to a character currently. That is a bit of a shame, it's not something that can currently be worked around, because technically you are in a separate entity when you're in spectator mode. That is something just to note down. So if I go back to my character, then I press F6, I can swap again. Pretty straightforward. Let's change this guy's skin to blue. I want a fancy blue. So there we go. This guy's now blue. Hello. There you go. I've got a blue and a red engineer. Red versus blue. Am I right? Okay, so we've changed the skin. Now we kind of need to set up a control path. Now part of this replay tool is you can replay engineer's actions. So let's swap to my red friend a minute. Now I'm thinking of a cool cinematic scene here. I want him to run from the station, up the stairs, and then come jump in the fight and take off. So let's see about getting that set up. I'm going to go and position my red friend all the way over here. And he's going to sit probably somewhere inside here. Let's just stand in here. So he's in the airlock. Now what I want him to do is eventually he's going to run all the way through here, into here, up the stairs, and up towards the landing pad. You get what I mean? It's going to be pretty simple. So let's position him here to start with. Now let's swap over to our blue friend a minute. I want him to basically wave our friend off when he comes to board his fighter. So that's what he's going to do. Let's position him somewhere like here. So he's going to be like the engineering guy. And he's still got the wave thing. So that's what he's going to do. But let's give him a thumbs up emoji instead. Like that. So when our friend comes running up here. This guy is going to give him a thumbs up that he's clear to take off. Bit like a Battlestar Galactica scenario. Like you know all birds go. That's what I'm kind of going for. So let's jump back to our other character. Here you go. Here's our red. Now we've set up our characters how we want them. Let's save the world for a minute. It's important to save the world. Don't save every time because you'll end up overwriting positions you're currently in. So that's not something I want to do. I'm just going to move my character forward so I... Oh no, I can stay him here. Okay. Right, so this is where things get a little bit more interesting. Now we actually need to record and replay our character's actions. So what we're going to do now is we're going to record and replay our character's actions. So clicking this button, bang, we're now active. So our character is running along. So we're basically telling him what he's going to do. So he comes into this part here. And you can see we are controlling him. And he's going to take a nice bit of a turnaround. Go up some stairs, up some stairs again, in here, walk onto the landing pad, say hello to him. He'll then give our thumbs up in a minute. Okay, we then hop in the fighter and take off. And there we go. Now we can press escape to stop recording and replaying and our stuff stops there. Now what we actually need to do now is we need to reload the world so we can get back to our current position. So clicking that, let's go. 
And there you go, we have now reloaded back inside the Space Engineers world, and you can see we're back where we started. Now, here's what I get to tell you about a bit of a sad bug with the game. Unfortunately with the replay tool, it doesn't actually remember the skins when you reload the world, and you need to reload the world quite a lot. So what you will find yourself doing is resetting the skins of your character. It is quite annoying, and I asked if they could fix this before releasing it, as I thought it would be a bit of a bug and people wouldn't like it, but uh, apparently that is not something they can do, which is a shame. So, oh well, I guess we're stuck with it. Okay, so we've already recorded the path of our red character. Now we need to get the blue character to give him a thumbs up before he launches. So, let's make that a possibility. We're going to hit record and replay again. Now we can actually stand around it until he comes up. So let's select number four. We've got the thumbs up. And we're going to give him a thumbs up when he comes up and talks to us. So number two is our emoji. We've got to wait for the character to come to us. He's currently in the process of running up the stairs, I believe. Hopefully he's not going to get stuck. Here he goes. He's going to come to us. Hello. Thumbs up. Boom. Get in your fighter and go. We're going to back off as well. There you go. Okay, he's going to have trouble actually getting in his fighters. So we can quickly just uh, escape stop that a minute and we'll reload the world. So uh, he might have a bit of trouble getting in there. Okay, so we reloaded back into the world now. And now is the time to see whether our player will actually come and do what we want. So if we go in here again and click replay, he's going to start running. There we go. He's not got his skin this time. Let's just ignore that. He's running through the stairs there. We can literally follow him around. So I'm not controlling this minute. You see, I'm flying with a spectator camera. He's going up the stairs. Up the stairs again. Do, 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 do. Here's our other character. He's going to give him a thumbs up like you're clear for launch. Go, go, go. Now I think he's going to have trouble getting in the cockpit. Can he get in? No, he can't. So he slightly misses it. So this is a bug with the system sometimes. It is a little bit difficult. So I might have to remove a few blocks in order to patch this, but it shouldn't be too bad. But you generally get the idea and gist of what to do. So it's a shame he can't actually take off right now because else we'd actually be able to show that he can fly the fighter out. So what he should be able to do is fly the fighter out. Unfortunately, he can't seem to do it for some reason. Now, in order to solve this problem in the future of a character not being able to actually get in the ship, you could cut it here and replay another action. So what I'm essentially doing is I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's quickly reload the entire world again. Now, with a reloaded world, we're going to replay the whole thing again, so we get to the point of where our character almost jumps in the fighter. Let's do this. There you go, he's running along again. Pretty cool. Let's make sure he gets up there, because I accidentally knocked the view slightly. With this tool, you have to be very precise. That is something you note down. Now, unfortunately, the big bug for me at the minute is obviously the fact they can't save their skins between transitions, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, here you go. He gives a thumbs up. Oop, you're clear to launch. Now, our character, is he going to get in there this time? No, he can't. Okay. Right, so that's pretty straightforward. We're going to stop it here. Now, in order to save this unique part, we're literally just going to click Save As, and I'm going to call it Moonbase, or I probably should call it Jack's uh, or Jack Film Dash Two. There you go. We've saved it here now. So now the characters are actually saved in this unique stance. So we've got a world saved before. So if we ever want to come back and recapture the idea of a guy running across there and running up the stairs, we can do that. But now I'm in a new instance. Now what I like to do is delete the existing recordings because we're in a new world. So our characters will forget what we've already done. This is simply done by clicking Delete Recordings. There we go. He's finished. Now if we jump back into our other character, what we need to actually go into the F6 mode, he is going to be want to be in the fighter. So there you go, he's now set in the fighter, and we can set the other guy, which is this one, we're going to change him back to blue as well. It's a shame we can't remember the skins, he's a bit of a lighter blue this time, maybe he just got a fresh paint job. And he's going to be stood here, and I'm thinking maybe standing there like ready to launch the fighter. And now we're going to actually set it up so the fighter launches. In fact, why don't we make the scene a little bit more complex. With that, We've now got a brand new thing. So let's save it where all our characters are. There we go. And we're going to actually make it so this guy runs back down the stairs. So it's just over there. We know where it is. So let's get going. We're going to click record and replay. There you go. He's got in the fighter. Let's run off. I'm going to go down the stairs. And I'm just going to make him stop here because he'll be out of angle. So he can stop there. No one needs to see him anymore. Let's reload the world once more. Okay, so now we've got it so that guy is going to run off on our side. But we need to set it so our fighter actually knows what to do. Because else, you know, he's not going to know. So let's do Alt F10 again. And we're going to record and replay. So when our character goes to run, there we go. We get to take off now and fly away. Boom. We're off. There you go. Hopefully we'll slow down sometime in the next year. That might be good. And we can press escape to stop recording again. Now let's reload the world. One thing you'll notice with this feature is you have to reload the world quite a lot. So if you're like me and you use a heavily modded world, you're going to be doing it quite a lot, unfortunately. And here we go, we're now back in it. So for the final thing, we're going to change everyone's skin colour again. So let's go to blue. There we go. We'll swap to our fighter pilot, change his skin to red. There we go. And let's position our camera. I'm going to want it over here. 
And we see exit there. Let's click OF10 and replay. And there we go. There's our scene, everyone. Pretty cool. Now, the character does actually ba bash into the wall slightly. I think it's because I might have turned his angle slightly. But there you go. The fighter flew off. And that's your replay scene there. It is incredibly simple to actually film these scenes, and uh, they are quite unique. Obviously, one of the glitches is you can't save the skins, and sometimes they do tend to bug out. So there is a lot of trial and error with this scene. On screen right now, you can see some scenes I've made earlier. I'm particularly happy with my Discovery hangar with all the engineers walking around as a shuttle comes into land. I think that's quite cool. I'd be interested to see what you can come up with in terms of creating cinematic masterpieces with this. One piece of advice uh, which people have asked me is, Jack, do you think you'll give up using your film crews in order to use a replay tool? The quick answer to that is no. In my opinion, you can't beat the actual accuracy of a player doing certain actions compared to a player controlled action. You know, the computer can do some things, but you see it is limited to do certain other things as well. You can't save the skins and sometimes they will wander off in their own directions. Personally, I'm still going to rely on my superior film crew for certain actions within my cinematic filmings, particularly with my upcoming project, Base Engineers Discovery. I'm definitely going to be using real world characters to do that. If you'd like to get involved with my film crew activities, come visit my Discord. I'm frequently recruiting people to come and help me. In the meantime, I've been Captain Jack. I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial here today on how to actually use the replay tool. If there's a certain thing you're not understanding or I've made it not quite clear for you, then feel free to comment down below in this video and I'll be sure to actually try and help out where and when I can. If not, come find me in Discord and I'll be able to help you once more. If you've made something pretty interesting with this replay tool already, tweet it at me or send it over Facebook, Instagram, whatever. I would love to actually see it. You guys are extremely talented and I can't wait to see what you come up with with the replay tool. I've been Captain Jack, thank you for watching this Space Engineers video. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I bring you the latest Space Engineers news when and where we get it. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.